You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nery here from Drake Wing Gaming, a sub email on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you to the Let's Play episode of Cilio, Tales of a New Dawn, Ties Path. So yeah, before we jump into it, just wanted to let y'all know that our Patreon is now for as little as $5. Y'all can help support the channel, get some awesome rewards like permanent access to our community Discord server and full access to upcoming Not Safe for Work videos. And we're going to be doing movie night in the Discord Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Central Time, y'all. We're going to be watching VHS, one of my favorite horror movies. So drop on by, y'all. Uh... A permanent subscription is as little as five dollars, and y'all can get voice chat with me and react to the spookiness. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm chain, you're up, and let's -a go. There we go. All right. <clears throat> hmm. Oh, that's right. Last year he was in the combat tournament. He fought around on his 38th birthday. 38? Jeez, he looks good for 38. Ha! Gay. What? He does. <laughs> Look at you squirm. Oh, isn't the tournament supposed to be, like, really soon? Hmm. Diego seemed to process something complicated in his head. I can practically see equations floating in their surrounding air, almost like one of those crazy forensic shows where they do the ha where they do hashtag the science. Damn, you know what? You're right. Time flies, you're dating an asshole, I guess, huh? <laughs> so it does. That means Ty's birthday's really soon, right? You don't know what day. Do the fights happen on the same dates every year? Nah, they change a bit. Always the same month, mind you, but never the same dates. Hmm. Why? Planning on throwing a guy a birthday party? Hope you're planning on inviting me. I don't know. Yeah, probably best you don't. I remember my leaving party at uni. Oh god, please don't remind me. You printed the wrong date on the invitation so nobody came. You then got super drunk and cried about it for like three hours. I felt my face turn beet red. As much as I hated to admit it, Diego's retelling of the events was not inaccurate. Thankfully, you were only one day out. I had to reschedule some things, but it turned out to be a great party in the end. See? It all worked out. Maybe I should throw him a party. You better double-check those invitations. Oh, shut the hell up. <laughs> oh, hey, that reminds me. The combat tournament. Uh, Ty said you had fought last year, last year, too, right? Oh, yep. I did. Didn't get as far as I'd like to have, though. Ty said more or less the same thing. Anyway, Ty has a spot this year, but he's decided against competing. He wanted me to ask if he wanted to wanted his place. Uh, dude? Diego poked his poked his belly several times with his finger, causing it to wobble slightly as he did. I'm so out of shape and even funny. I wouldn't stand a chance in hell. You've got pretty big arms, though. I bet you're still plenty strong. If you started training now, who knows? Maybe you could win the thing. Sounds like a heap of work. Thanks for asking, dude, but nah. I can't be asked in the slightest. Heh. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. I felt my blood freeze cold as my phone buzzed from within my pocket. Sure enough, Diego had lightened the mood, but the fact that Ty could have been the source of the message filled me with a sense of dread. I reached in, grabbed my phone, and woke it up. One new message from... Lucas. I felt somewhat relieved. Well, I suppose a part of me was disappointed that it wasn't from Ty. Perhaps it was for the best. The message read, I could use your help tomorrow morning if you aren't busy. Let me know. I responded, confirming my attendance before returning my phone to my pocket. Who was that? Lucas. Guess I'm working for working with him tomorrow. Oh, hey, wonder if he takes Ty's place in the tournament. Knowing how close Ty and him are, I'm sure he'd already he's already been asked. Besides, as much as Lucas knocks Eric around, he's actually kind of a gentle dude. Really? You'd never know it. I guess Eric just sort of pushes him to that point. Yep. Honestly, I feel sorry for Lucas. Eric is more than a handful. Anyway, I was meaning to ask. Hmm? Diego leaned close to me and began to sniff the fur on my neck. Kind of weirded out by this, I recoiled away from him suddenly. Hey, what the hell? I knew it. You mostly just smelled the wet, the wet dog, no offense, but I knew I caught a whiff of something else. You're wearing Ty's cologne. I didn't respond immediately. While I wasn't intending to lie to Diego, I felt a knot in my chest thinking of the right to say it, the right thing to say. You, uh, want to tell me about that? Um, I... I... I felt my face go bright red once more. Ha! <laughs> okay, okay, I'll stop. As fun it is to make you squirm like this, I think I'm going to take pity on you. Uh-oh? You look so sad when you walked in, after all. Besides, you're my best friend. Can't rightly bully you too much, now can I? So, uh, yeah. You think I don't know, but... I know, dude. W wait, what? <laughs> Seriously, you knew and you've just been fucking with me? Thank you, y'all. Coffee time. Guilty! 
God damn it, Diego, you ass. Heh, <laughs> sorry, I was just having too much fun. Wait, how long have you known? How long have you been keeping this act up for? Ah, uh, don't worry. This is the first time I've seen you since since you found since I found out. Remember how Axel, Dom, and I all left the festival together? No way. Did Axel tell you? Well, not exactly. Nope. We're gonna get a re. Yep. Gonna get a flashback sequence. Maybe. Day seven. Yep. I don't know if you remember, but Axel started acting real weird all of a sudden and started saying that he'd left his oven on or something. So he double-timed it back to his apartment when we arrived. Oh, thank goodness! I didn't leave it on after all. I'm so relieved! Axel basically had run the entire way home. Dom didn't have much trouble keeping up. Guys run like, guys run like marathons and shit, but me? Man, I could have curled up and died after, that all, after all that. So, uh, you mean to tell me that uh, we've had all this way for nothing? Sorry, but all's well that ends well, right? My apartment is safe. And now that we're all here, we can play some video games. Who wants to play some... Dude, gotta say, I ain't the biggest judge of character and all that, but you're acting kind of shady. Who, me? No. <laughs> I'm just happy that my stuff is okay. Can you imagine how much it'd suck if it wasn't? Dude. Come on, let's fire up a match. Uh, sorry, Axel, but Diego has a point. What do you mean? <laughs> I've known you for a long time now. I know when you're hiding something, and the fact that Diego has spotted it, you're doing a terrible job of hiding it. No offense, Diego. Uh, none taken, I guess. You guys are silly. You're imagining things. Uh, sorry, Axel, we're not buying it. Diego? Hmm? Let's leave Axel here with his secrets. We've got better, th better things to do, right? We do. I mean, yeah, we do. Let's go. Dom and I headed for the front door as Axel fidgeted in place. It was only when Dom reached for the door handle that Axel cracked. Wait, I'm sorry! Gonna tell us what's going on? Yeah, just please don't go. I followed Dom's lead as he retra retraced his steps, eventually sitting down on Axel's couch. I was just sort of following his lead, you know? Dom knew what he was doing, so I sat beside him, and then Axel sat down too. He kind of defeated. I seemed to remember him muttering something. I didn't quite catch it at first, but later on I sort of clicked. Under his breath he said, I'm sorry, Hunter. Forgive me. Hmm. Did you say something? No. Well... Tell us what this is all about. Um, I didn't leave the oven on. I mean, duh, dude. We checked it when we came in. Uh, I mean, I never thought I did. I either. I, I haven't even used it in like a week. So? You gotta promise to keep this a secret, okay? Okay. Sure thing, dude. Promise. Um, so, uh, it's about Hunter and Ty. What about them? Um, they're sort of seeing each other. Oh, I... I see. I, uh, maybe this is kind of weird, dude, but, uh... Wait, they're fucking what? H huh? Whoa, Diego, keep it down. Wait, 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 wait. I guess there were signs beforehand, huh? I guess... I just... I guess I'm oblivious to that sort of thing. You're telling me that Hunter is gay? Um, yeah. Hold on, that's what you're focusing on here? Uh, yeah, I had no idea. I mean, I guess... Shit, man, that makes our university years kind of... Weird in hindsight. It's not as though there weren't signs. The way he dresses, the way he walks. Yeah, but I don't notice that sort of shit. You're gay, aren't you? Hell, I'm bi. Is that so weird? Wait, you're bi? Holy shit, Diego. Seriously. <laughs> this is kind of funny. Just like you know. Coffee time. I gotta admit, it kinda is. Hey, no fair! <laughs> Sh shut up! Stop ganging up on me! So, yeah, that's how I found out. You seriously never noticed? Seriously? Not you too. You've literally been teasing me since I got home. Let me have this. I mean, glossing over the fact that I kinda admitted my own sexuality in that story, I mean, unless you already knew. I tried to think tried to think of a witty response but came up blank. Truthfully, I had had some suspicions over the years but never anything concrete. But again, Diego didn't exactly seem the type, so maybe it wasn't so bad. Yeah, okay, I admit it's news to me, but how Dom know? I mean, he knew my ex pretty well. Well, I guess that explains it then. And I guess I should have expected this to happen. And when I saw Axel's terrible acting at the festival last night, come to think of it, I met up with him earlier and he acted a little strangely there. 
I guess he was feeling guilty or something. He didn't do a good job of hiding it. <laughs> Seriously, dude, you picked the wrong guy to trust in keeping a secret. It's not like I told him, but he, when he asked me for help with something and I turned up with Ty, he kind of figured it out from there. Oh, right. That must have been after you two got breakfast together that morning. Man, I knew that excuse of yours sounded fishy. Can't believe I didn't see it. Bah, never mind. That ain't important, I guess. Diego went quiet, seemingly thinking of the right words to say. I knew it was rattling around in his head. After all, it wasn't that long ago I walked in looking like a complete, sh like looking like I was in complete shambles. It was no surprise Diego was working his way towards that. You want to know what happened, right? Why he needed to cheer me up in the first place? Um, yeah, no pressure, of course. Like I know I wasn't supposed to find out about this, but um, hey, stop right there. The only reason I didn't tell you was well because I was, I guess, unsure. Like Ty and I haven't even known each other for a week. It was only three days ago we kind of started this whole thing. It moved really fast, and I don't know. I guess I was scared it was going to fall apart and be making a fool of myself that, and, well, it was never really official. We never agreed any terms or anything. I guess I was just protecting my self-esteem. It sounds stupid, but I just wanted to wait until I felt more secure in the situation. That's all. I promise, that's all. I understand, dude. I don't hold it against you, like, at all. To be honest, I kind of did something similar with me and Kyrex in the beginning. Huh? Kyrex? My ex, you know, the asshole. Huh, weird coincidence. I met the guy at the gym. But what? Yeah, has a lot to do. Has a lot to do with why I haven't gone back to, back to be honest. I knew there was something bad about that dude. Shit, I wish I had your perception. Maybe then I wouldn't have dated the fucking guy. But yeah, in the beginning I waited a little, I waited a little too, I guess. I guess I felt the same way as you. Just didn't want to look silly if everything fell apart, you know? Anyway, sorry, I didn't mean to make this conversation about my problems. I was still curious about what had gone down between the two of them. Come to think of it, it had been a little while ago since Diego had brought it up, only for him to quickly switch topic again. I hoped he would decide to tell me one of these days. Hey, it's not like I'm the only one allowed to have problems, you know? Feel free to talk about it any time. I'll be here to listen. Thanks, dude, but uh, perhaps this ain't the time with your whole thing going on, you know? So, uh, anyway, what exactly happened? Well, remember the night I was home late? I was late home? Uh, Thursday, I think. We were going to watch a movie. Yeah. So, after I left the bar when you were there, I paid Eric a visit. He hurt himself at work, so I just sort of wanted to check in. He kind of grilled me a bit about the kind of guys I like, and I got thinking. I realized I kind of had to think for Ty. Afterwards, I went back to the bar. He had gone home already by that point. I just sort of, I don't know, I guess I wanted to spend some time with Ty. Get to know him a bit, but, uh... He saw right through me, figured out I was into him, invited me on a date and everything the, night, the very next day. The cafe? Yep, so Axel found out later that day, like I said. I also offered the, also offered to work the entire festival of Ty. He tried to let me off, but I insisted, and you know how that went. Yep, so Ty let me off, and then Axel covers for you. Badly. So you can spend some time with Ty. Was your plan to go home with him all along? I mean, I mean, I, I don't know. It certainly crossed my mind. Mostly it was that we'd been getting along really well, and I just wanted some time alone with him outside of work. But he invited me back to, but he invited me back to his place. Alcohol got involved, and he gave me, and he gave me today off. So we got drunk. Second like, you know, deal. Coffee time. And um, well, stuff happened basically. Okay, what kind of stuff? You know, stuff, stuff, like things happened. What kind of things? Diego, are you serious? Yeah, man, what kind of stuff? You, you really need to, you really need to work on this. We, uh, we had sex, Diego. Oh, holy fuck. Uh, um, uh, was it good? What are you, Eric? No, I mean, I just, sorry, dude. I, I promise it's not what I meant. I just, it took me by surprise. It's all right. You can be an idiot sometimes, but you're my idiot. <laughs> hey, shut up. <laughs> anyway, shall I continue? Oh, yeah, sorry. So I woke up this morning. He left me a sweet note in this change of clothes. He bundled up my dirty clothes and put them in this here bag. I grabbed the tote bag from beside the couch and dumped it in the middle of the lounge floor. It's rather damp. He even made me breakfast. And pancakes with passion fruit syrup and vanilla ice cream. What? Those were our... That place, that place just down from... How do you know? I mentioned it casually at the cafe. He remembered. Jeez, ain't gonna lie, I'm jealous. Were they good? Even better than the diner. Man, so jealous. Sounds like a keeper. Sounds like a keeper to me. That's just because he can cook. Guilty. 
<laughs> the weight of my heart is straight to my stomach. What happened then? Heh, <laughs> kind of pathetic when I think back, but I remember thinking how much I wanted to spend my life with this guy. <sighs> if only I knew. So later on, I, w I visited him at the bar. It was busy, so I offered to work. He refused, but I didn't give him the choice. When all was said and done, we chatted for a bit. I noticed he was acting a bit weird, so I convinced him to spill it. Alright y'all, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Anyway, I love you all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye bye